Hello, this is the first of what will be many videos um, on my channel, Bomba Wood. Um, it's going to be centered around making things, and uh, I'll explain shortly what my first video series will be about. Um, but I am a carpenter by trade, and so most of them will be about solely carpentry, building things and figuring things out. And uh, so that's why my name is Bomba Wood. But so happens that the first series is actually going to be something else, a competition between me and one of my friends. I'm going to go ahead and here, use these jumbo sticky notes to go over what is what it is. Um, who? Me. Uh, my name's Jake. I'm with Bomba Wood. It's my YouTube channel. And my competition is going to be my friend Aaron. And his video channel is Slothfully Done. And uh, we're really good friends. We've known each other for like a decade. And uh, we decided to do this competition together. So you need to make sure to not only watch my videos as this goes, all, goes along, but also to go to Slothfully Done and watch all of his because we'll be competing against each other independently. We won't be communicating about the things that we're doing. Um, anyway, so watch his. What this competition is going to be is a hydro conversion kit for a bicycle. So what that means is we're going to take a standard bike, uh, you know, just an adult sized bicycle with it can be a mountain bike, it can be a BMX bike, whatever, and uh, we have to convert it so that it works on water like a lake. And so whether that's with a propeller, whether that's with uh, a paddle wheel, um, whatever we can come up with, that's what we're doing. And so we're going to be competing, we're going to be doing a race where we have to go start on the beach, get in the water, go around a buoy, and uh, come back and whoever wins, wins. And I'm sure we'll figure out some kind of prize, uh, trophy or or something, but uh, at least bragging rights. Um, yeah, so that's what that's what we're doing. We're gonna c compete against each other to see who can build the best water bike. Where we both live in Idaho, and uh, so there's no shortage of water around here. Even though we live in a desert, there are rivers and lakes and ri reservoirs everywhere. So about. 30 to 40 minutes away from here, there's this little town called Emmett. And just past there, there's a place called Black Canyon Reservoir. So they've dammed it up and there's a big reservoir there. And uh, this time of year, or when we're done and, and you know on the day of the actual competition, at that time of the year, the water's really low. And so there's a huge, you know, the beach just goes on forever and then to go way down there and there's the water. But anyway, that's where we'll be doing it. When today is October 1st, so today is the beginning of the challenge. Both of us are, we've been thinking about it for, you know, about, I don't know, we've been dwelling on it for about a month and a half or, or two months. And so the day's finally here, and uh, <laughs> prepared or not, we are beginning. And anyway, it goes from October 1st today until November 5th. We're going to do it until just the end of November, or the end of October, and make it one month. But that's like in the middle of the week, and we figured we don't want to shorten it and do it the Saturday at the end of October, we'd rather go one extra week because we'll need the time, I'm sure, and do it November 5th, which is convenient because whoever wins or loses will forever remember the 5th of November. And it will be at 9 a.m. Now that's important because the competition starts at 9 a.m. whether the other guy's there or not. So if Aaron finishes, if Aaron gets there on time right at 9 a.m., he can start without me and uh, he gets all that extra time. So it's important that neither of us show up late so we don't we don't lose our advantage. Why? So we were camping a few months months ago, me and Aaron and a bunch of other friends, and uh, when we were leaving we were talking about um, like on Nitro Circus and that kind of stuff, how they jump their bikes off ramps into water and it looks cool. Um, so we're talking about doing that, and then my friend Aaron the guy that I'm competing against, he was talking about this show that he'd seen on HBO where these guys had to build their own boats and then the day, the rate, the day, at the end of the challenge or the end of the time, whatever, they had to race these boats around a buoy and come back and whoever did, made it first won. 
and we started talking. So we combined those two ideas, the bike jump and uh, the, the boat race. We're like, man, why don't they have any sort of bicycle conversion kit that you can throw on your normal bike and uh, be able to use it around and just and pedal around and, and go in the water. I know there's those big like novelty water bikes with the oversized wheels and, and whatever, but they're not fast and they're not fun and I don't think they're fun. And uh, so we're wondering why there isn't some kind of you know, man-powered, fast uh, bicycle conversion kit. So then we combined all of those ideas and decided that we will have a, bike, a hydro conversion kit competition, yeah, which is what we're doing. And so that's where the idea came from. Now the rules, these are important. So as you can see, I don't live, I don't have a super nice shop, I don't have anything we're living, we're renting a 100 year old farmhouse and I'm trading the guy work for rent uh, because we're short on money. And I think that's common for someone of my age who is newly wed and trying to start a family, we're just short on money. My friend is in the exact same position and so we decided that the budget would have to be really low because we don't have a lot of money to spend on it. So we decided on $50, which is almost nothing. Um, Aaron got his bike from his parents, so he's already, you know, he got that for free. So he's got $50 to spend. I had to buy my bike. I got it from a thrift store, but it was $20. So I only have $30 to work with. So I'm gonna have to find all the free stuff I can find to, to make it work. And I have some ideas already about some cheap ways to, to do it, which you'll see, but anyway. So I only have $30 remaining of our $50 budget. Um, the second rule I just went over, it's October 1st through November 5th, that's all we have. Gotta show up at 9 a.m. The race starts with or without you. Um, rule three is that you can use other people's tools, like you can borrow, like I don't have a welder, I'm gonna have to do some welding. So I'm gonna have to go to my brother's house and use his welder, but he cannot weld for me. So you can use or borrow or whatever other people's tools, but you cannot have them do the work for you. That is a, that is a rule. I don't know how to weld, so that's gonna be a hard one for me, but I'll figure it out, I'll learn. Rule number four, you can use any material you can think of. If you wanted to make pontoons out of, if you wanted to make floats out of empty milk jugs, you could do that. If you wanna use steel, if you wanna use aluma, if you wanna use wood, whatever, anything goes. Um, five, all research is okay. So you can ask whoever you want. You can look anything up on the internet. You can read any book you want. You can look for answers and for information and learn whatever you need to learn um, from anyone and anywhere. You just can't have them do it for you. Six, must convert on the beach. That means that you have to show up at 9 a.m. on the beach with a bike that has wheels on it. So. It has to have a chain wheeled bike. You have to be able to like ride the bike around as a normal bicycle. Have your conversion kit there with you, and then at 9 a.m. you can start converting it. So you can start throwing on your conversion kit. So you can't show up with it already converted over to be able to use on the water. You have to show up with a normal bike, convert it on the beach, and then go at 9 a.m. And then seven, this is an important one. I think it's the most important one, is absolutely no watching the other's video. Um, in any kind of competition setting where people are building things, I think this is a pretty common rule where you don't, you know, you're not looking over the shoulder at the guy and trying to pick up his, his uh, techniques and his ways of doing things. So we're doing the same thing. There's not gonna be any way to monitor that. So it's just on the honor system. And I know Aaron, you know me, neither of us will look at each other's videos. Um, but anyway, that's just to keep it so our ideas stay our ideas and there's no, there's no looking over the other guy's shoulder and taking his ideas. Um, Anyway, like I said, today's October 1st. Um, I'm gonna try to release a video every weekday and Saturdays probably. So uh, Sundays I'm not gonna do any videos. But uh, so between now and November 5th, that's a lot of videos. But I'll be short um, and uh, those keep track of what I'm doing, what I'm learning and uh, those kind of things. Yeah, there are gonna be a ton of videos between me and Aaron. But they're going to be short, so you know you're not going to lose your interest. It's not, not going to be 20-minute videos that you have to sit and, and you know. Um, they'll, they'll all be short, concise, and they'll just be a day-to-day -day thing of what we're doing and what we're thinking about. Um, so it's important that you subscribe to my channel, Bomba Wood, and you subscribe to Aaron's channel, Slothfully Done, 
so you keep track of everything that both of us are doing and the different things that we're doing, the same things that we're doing, the struggles we're having, there will be plenty of those. Stay tuned for this uh, awesome competition that we're going to be doing. And uh, just so you know, the world knows, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to win. My design, which I'll go over next week, I think is top notch and is going to is going to take the trophy home.